Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add transitions between video clips using DaVinci Resolve 16. Okay, I've got DaVinci Resolve 16 loaded up here. If you've never used DaVinci Resolve 16 before, I'll put a link in the YouTube description giving you access to a beginner's guide video tutorial. Okay, let's go ahead and click on new project here. And when we click on new project, we need to give it a title. So I'm going to call this particular project video transitions demo and let's click on the create button once we do that DaVinci Resolve will load up and as usual we'll be in the let's go to the media section here so we can drag in our media clips now we need to download some content quickly just to work in this tutorial so I've already put some video clips together that we're going to download so I'll put links to all of these video clips in the YouTube description so we go to Pixabay we'll click free download 1920 by 1080 and click download here we're going to download two other video clips as well so let's just download this one and you'll find links to all of these video clips in the YouTube description so let's take all three of these clips they're all to do with South Korea and a city called Seoul so it's a city based there and we want some audio as well so let's go to um, YouTube free audio so we download some free audio from the YouTube library and I want to download a music clip it's called timeless so in this search I'm going to type in timeless and hit enter and then we want to download this particular um, audio track so let's click download here so we've got three video clips and one audio track that's all we need so let's go ahead and open up this folder on my desktop inside this folder I just got some notes here for myself and I'm going to drag and drop all of these video clips and we should have one more here as well so we've got three video clips and one audio track let's close down the web browser let's open up DaVinci Resolve here and what we'll do is just select all of these uh, three video tracks and the audio track and we're in the media section here you can see media I'm just going to drag and drop them into here so we drag and drop them into here and then we will select them all again and drag and drop them into the media pool here it's going to say do you want to change the frame rate because the frame rate uh, for these video clips is set at 25 frames a second so we're going to click change here change and now we've got all the content that we can work with let's go over to we could do some cutting but in this example I'm not going to be doing cutting I want to go straight to the editing let's go to editor here edit this tab right down here and we've got the three video clips and we've got one audio track let's drag the first video clip into the editor here and let's zoom out a little bit so we can see a little bit more here so we use the zoom tool here and then we'll drag in the second video clip and let's just drag it so it snaps side by side and we'll drag the third one into here as well like this so we've got all three video clips sitting side by side we can scrub across them like this and we'll see they're like sort of uh, this this uh, time-lapse motion capture right this time-lapse we can click the play button here and we can see everything playing inside of the content here so what we want to do is add some transitions now normally when I create a video clip like this something like this I want to fade it in and fade it out fade to black right so if we move our mouse cursor let's just move this timeline across if we move our mouse cursor to the very top edge of a video clip we can drag across like this and you'll see this gray sort of triangle appear right or this black triangle like this here and that will give us a, a fade so we can see the first frame is black and when we click play it's going to fade in nicely like this and then fade to full color and you can fade tracks in and out as well so you could fade black here if you wanted to but normally we'll add a transition between but at the end I also want to fade so I'm going to drag across here to fade towards the end as well so we're going to fade in at the beginning and fade to black at the end like this that's kind of what I want to do again it's your choice you can fade between clips as well so you can drag across here for example and across here for example then it will fade to black between these two I don't really want to do that now the next thing we want to do is add a transition between these clips so what we can do is move our mouse cursor in between the clips right in between them and then we can right click and it will say do you want to fade 6 frames 12 frames 25 and 50 now depending on the frame rate of the video content these frames may be different so if it's 30 frames a second you won't see 25 here 
you will see 30 frames a second. So why does that make logical sense? If we minimize this just a second, and if we right click on this video clip and go to its properties and look at the details, in here you can see 25 frames a second. So one second is 25 frames. So therefore in DaVinci Resolve, when we right click in the middle of these clips, we see 25 frames. So we're gonna click 25 frames here, and it's gonna ask me if I wanna trim the clip because it needs handles, the right amount of frames to do this this uh this crossfade so we're going to say trim clips here so now we're going to get a crossfade here and then we'll right click here and do 25 frames again and we'll click trim clips so now when we click the play button if we watch between these clips it's going to crossfade right so you can see the crossfade there and you'll see another one appear here just in a moment you can see this crossfade as well so let's pause this or let's just stop this now what happens if we want to change the transition we can actually click on the transition itself we, normally um, what I would do here there's something called the inspector here right so I'm going to leave the inspector open and what I want to do is change the transition so you've got all these different types of transitions here if you click on video transitions here video transitions you've got like blur dissolve you've got dip to color you've got all of these different ones here then you've got these shaped based ones and you've got like motion ones and you've got other shape ones so like box for example you can just drag and drop the box right onto this transition here and then you will have a box transition so we click play you can see this sort of box transition yeah and you can just play around with these and see which ones you like you can drag star here for example and then we can click play here and then we see this star transition you can see that again right here let's move back a bit you can see the star transition i don't really like those sort of shape transitions normally i just stick to either a blur a cross dissolve or additive dissolve additive is quite interesting as well if we drag and drop that one it kind of um, uses both clips and merges them as it transitions so you'll see like this sort of um, transition like this i prefer additive or cross dissolve right this is cross dissolve like this so let's use additive we'll drag and drop that one onto the second example here and now we've got these additive crossfades and we've got it fading out at the end and we've got it fading in in the beginning. So let's just make something out of this video clip. So I'm showing you how to add the transitions. This is a fade to black at the end in the beginning. And then we've got the additive transitions in here. You can pick and experiment with these. You've got clock wipe, um, you've got a centered band, you've got all these different ones. So I suggest you just drag and drop them like X wipe. If you drag and drop that here, you can see what it does. So when we click play, let's move along. And you've got this x wipes type transition yeah so experiment with them unless you experiment you're not going to learn so it's the best way to really learn stuff is just to drag and drop them and see what they do but the key is to right click and then add your transitions when you right click between the clips that's the quick way to add the transition between them a basic one then you can drag and drop these so let's drag some audio into here remember we drag this audio clip so let's drag that onto the timeline so we've got an audio clip here Let's just snap that to the beginning and this little white line it might be hard to see but you can drag this white line you can adjust the audio and just like with the video clip you can actually drag this across to transition the audio so this will be fading from low volume to higher volume so if we click the play but if we go back to the beginning and click play we'll have a nice sort of fade of our audio right that's kind of what i want i want this nice little fade of audio something like this and then what we'll do is move our timeline to the very end let's move it right to the end here it will snap to the end right here then we can click on the audio clip down here click on the cut tool and then we can move our mouse cursor right over this timeline and click here to cut the audio here then we can pick back on our selection tool click the end part of the audio and hit the delete key that will get rid of that and then we can fade our audio out. normally the audio at the end i'll normally fade it out over a longer duration the beginning you can do it quite short but normally towards the end i fade out over a longer duration it just sounds better on the fade out right somewhere like around here we can click here and then click play and we'll hear it fade out something like that looks pretty good right so let's finish off this video clip i know it was just about transitions but normally when i do something i like to start and finish something so let's actually add a title let's click on titles and maybe we'll do something like uh let's see uh lower third behind slide in lower third planes rotating in let's see what this one does so when we drag and drop these these um 
So let's just do that one more time, right? So I've clicked on titles here and we want to, let's do this one. Let's try this one, this one here, right? So we'll drag and drop it at the beginning. We'll click back here to get to the beginning of the timeline and click play. And then you can see this title here. All right, and if, I, if you don't like that one, you can just drag and drop a different one. So let's try this one here. Just drag and drop it over the top of the original one and click back and let's click play and see what this one does that's two lines with plain background uh, third flipping two lines let's try this one one more yeah I quite like this one right so what we'll do is we'll go back to the beginning of the timeline let's click on this uh, let's just move across actually a little bit so we can see what's going on we'll click on this uh, title here and then you've got in the inspector you've got line one text so this will be the first line and you've got line two text after it flips over so let's click open here and we might type in something like uh, let's type in soul let's see <clears throat> let's just go to our folder so it's S-E-O-U-L, that's the city name. And then we'll click to minimize and then we'll go to the second drop down and we'll type in South Korea. So that's the name of the place and then the first one is the city. So if we go back here, let's go back on our timeline and click play. It will say Seoul here, then it's gonna flip over and say South Korea and then fade out again. That's a nice little title transition, yeah? So you can imagine how you can start to build up your clips. Imagine if you go on holiday, you want to make a nice little holiday video or you're doing something for your business. Maybe you did an event or some sort of a webinar. Then you can start cutting all your clips together. You can use the cut tool here quite easily, cut and edit all your clips. And you can bring them all together, do your transitions and add your titles in and out and add some music. So that's quite quick. And remember the music that you download from YouTube's audio library is copyright free as well. So you won't get no copyright problems, right? So let's go ahead and go to file save okay let's finish off this project by exporting it so let's click to delivery over here and then inside delivery we're going to click on custom and we're going to give it a name so let's give this project file name here video transition demo and then we want it to be um let's see we want to select h264 here actually h264 and then we'll click video transition and we'll give it a name demo and then in the file format i'm going to select mp4 and then we'll click on the browse button and we'll go to the folder on my desktop and inside here i'm going to create a new folder and let's just call it export we'll open up that folder and we'll save our mp4 file there let's click save and then click add to render queue then over here you can see the job and we'll click start render it's going to start it from the beginning. You can see it's moving across the timeline and it's going to create this video clip of this audio and the video and the transitions all combined together with the title as well. So let's export this. Let's just see what the end result looks like. And if we're happy with it, um, it should look pretty good. And it's a short video clip. It's only 30 seconds, under 30 seconds. So this is going to export pretty quick. That's done. Let's minimize this. We'll open up the folder. Inside of this folder, we can see the new export folder. And inside there, we've got the video clip. So let's open this and check it out and see what it looks like. Okay, overall, I'm quite happy with that. If we pause it, we can just have a quick look at what happened. So at the beginning, we've got the black frames and then our video clip will fade in. And then we've got our little transition here for our title in the bottom corner. And then we'll have our fades between the video clips. And at the end, the audio fades out as it fades in the beginning, it fades out towards the end and it gets to a black frame. So this would be a good video to loop. It can just continuously loop, right? When we click play, it will just loop around to the beginning when it gets to the end, 
it will fade out and then just loop right, right around to the beginning again. So you can create lots of different video clips like this. Imagine if you're doing an exhibition or something like this and you want to put some video content up, you could create lots of video sequences and just have them looping. So you can just put them pretty much all in the same directory and just set um, the video player to loop through all of them. You can just sit there looping all day long. Uh, it's a nice way to you know create some content, some visual content. If you're doing some sort of uh, presentation or exhibition or you know if you just want to create some content for youtube this is a good way to do this so let's close this that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial